All right, Lester, I got us the tag team rifles. All right, then this score is ready to go. Come inside and meet the crew. All right, I want to say thanks for being a part of our little operation. We're all professionals, we all know the score. We're gonna execute the plan, we're gonna move quick, and we're gonna keep cool. Anybody gets pinched, this meeting never took place. We don't know each other, is that clear? Now, we've um, looked very, very carefully at the plans. We considered something more complicated, but given the location, the weakness of staffing, and the exit points, we believe that a more simple plan will work best. We're gonna hack in, disable security, and waltz right in through the front door. The security guard should be to our left. We neutralize him. 15 seconds later, you come in. I want extreme pressure applied to the staff. The customers are to be calmly subdued. I want one guy on crowd control while you and I empty out the merchandise from the cabinets. We're in and out in 90 seconds, guys. Franklin will handle your getaway. I'm leaving on foot. Any questions? Good luck, everyone. Let's go. Waiting on you, kid. Ricky, I hope you can manage the truck with the bikes. Other three, you're riding with me. Gus, Kareem, you're riding in the back of the van. I'm passing. Franklin, drive it. Listen up, the four of us in this van, we're about to become accomplices in a major crime. I gotta be able to trust you with my life, my liberty, my reputation. Same goes the other way. A crew will only work, only work, when there's trust. So, in the interest of fostering that type of relationship in the short time we've got, let me introduce myself. I'm Michael. I've done this type of thing before, more than a few times, and I've made good money doing it. Enough to spend a long time not doing it. I hope it goes without saying, I know a lot of people. Anyone yaps about me or any of you will be dealt with. Got it? Good. Now, Frank, over to you. Uh, yeah, man, I'm Franklin, dawg. And, um, I'm new to these kind of planned out detail robberies. I've done my shit small jobs, you know, liquor stores, warehouses, boosting cars. But then I met this dude right here, Michael, man. And he turned me on to this thing. So, who's next? Gustavo, Gasmota. Don't put me slow, you know what I'm saying? It's the bank for the bagos, but hey, don't tell him I told you that. I might even pull me if I go away. I guess I found out pretty young to pull a trigger. But it was a couple of years before they started doing it for bread, you know what I'm saying? Instead of that repping with you from bullshit. And here we are. Uh, so yeah, this is Kareem Dents. He's cleaning out the cabinets and taking charge of the getaway. I think it's fair to say you're kind of new to this, right? But I think you can handle it. This is it. Let's move. Go get the bikes. Go! Right. Ah! Ah! Ladies and gentlemen, this is your moment. Please don't make me ruin all the great work your plastic surgeons have been doing. On the floor, now! Go, 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 go! My mom is here. Rose, I wouldn't stay in there too long, okay? This alarm is gonna go. At some point. You gotta be kidding me! Why did I employ a hacker who can't run antivirus software? Shit, um... Okay, the alarm hasn't gone off yet. We ain't leaving here till we hit the target, come on! I think you've got maybe 30 seconds left. What the hell? You got on the fucking floor! Gee, nice work on the crowd! You're worth whatever we're paying you, buddy! Ted, um, 
Stop at the end of the river, get the bikes in the truck. Yeah, come on, get in. Lester's waiting for us at the lockup. Stuck under a cop car. There gotta be more dudes waiting around that way. We did not just get away with that shit, did we? You know what? I think we did. Oh man. Oh yeah, we did it, baby. We did it. Yeah. All in a day's work, homies. Woo! What kind of social media you guys on? When Li fired me, they said I was dangerous. <laughs> they was right, yo. Nothing to see here. Call your gym guy, Lesty Baby, cause we got merchandise. All right, people, we need to split up. They're gonna be looking for a crew. 
I'll wire your cuts when the rocks have been sold. That shit was crazy, dog. So what now? We get out of here. Keep our heads down. Hey, you did good, kid. What'd I tell you, Lester, huh? Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, look, everybody take off. Hey, Franklin. Listen, Lester and I got some things we gotta clean up. I want you to stop by the house a little later on. We'll celebrate, all right? All right. Okay. <laughs> huh? Mm-hmm. Oh, man. We're back in action. Don't you get it? That ain't what I was looking for. Not then, not now, not ever. I know it ain't important. Just let me take you somewhere nice, all right? Where are you? Uh, are you in a strip club? Grow up, stop looking for the easy way. Tanisha, I gotta go, all right? Uh, I, I'm gonna change, I promise. You won't even recognize me. People die from peanuts. Excuse me, sir. Can I talk to you for a second? What the fuck are you talking about? I am talking about a hotline straight to heaven that this state makes illegal. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. I don't give a fuck about refunds. No, no, they rigged the vote. I saw the ballots. It's a lie. It's democracy at work, amigo. Democracy can suck my fatty. Democracy only works when it lets intelligent people do what they want. This, this is tyranny by morons. <laughs> yeah, well, I got things to take care of in a little place called reality. You want to drive? Nah, I'm not a drug guy. This isn't bushweed. This is mana. I grew up myself. No paranoia, no weirdness. A passport to nirvana. Yeah, here you hardly feel it. Yeah, I smoke all day and I'm fine. It's a pure 
mellow high. But I do get concerned about the monsters. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure they're nothing serious, but uh, oh. I never let them get to you. push for continued prohibition, which is complete insanity. Huh. So I take it I can count on your support. The fuck just happened? What are you talking about? We discussed globalization, the state. Stay the fuck away from me. What? But it's a good cause. Get off your fat ass. I see this uh, exercise stuff's about as relaxing for you as it is for my wife. No, I don't want to sleep with you. And no, I don't care that I'm 39 and single. It doesn't worry me a bit. Oh, easy. I'm not stressed out at all. Now go fuck yourself. Are you okay? Yes, I'm okay. Just fuck you. All of you. I'm on a run. Mm. Well, you seem a little upset. I could still run you into the fucking ground. <laughs> okay, hey. I played high school football, all right, sweetheart? All state, QB. Whatever. Just don't have a coronary. 
Let's go! Huh. Whoa! Okay, ma'am, boo, race you to the beach! I don't know who I'm more embarrassed for. You're not exactly dressed for cardio. It's I'm running. Serious. How much gear do you need? I feel like I'm being chased by my creepy uncle. Yeah, if your uncle was the same age as you, you mean? Although that would explain a lot. Fuck you! Why are you so angry? I'm not angry! I'm what? exercising! How's that prostate holding up? Run on the road! Take that traffic head on! Yeah, I could have guessed you were one of those. The road is for runners! You and my wife should hang out! You broke my cadence, you fucking moron! This must be so emasculating for you! You make me feel well adjusted! Too early! Classic school boy! I thought I had issues, but you, you give me hope. I own you! My shrink's office is right near here if you want to work through some of that shit. Yeah, because you're a walking advertisement for therapy. <sighs> Not too shabby, huh? You can have that one on me. I never got out of second gear. I already did a 10K today. Yeah, whatever gets you through it. Oh, my chest. Fuck me. Screw you! You're